We don't need to socialize processes. We actually need to get rid of the process exception. Can ask the problem because if you look into a process, if you look into a business process, uh, let me well let me let me re go back on that. So if you look into if you look into how workflows work for employees, an employee has got to do a number of various different tasks on a daily basis. Some of them are process driven, and some of them are collaborative driven, some of them are whatever driven, right? Now, when you look into how an employee works, if you look into their business process, their business process is something that is not going to take them more than 10, 15 minutes. And if it takes them more than 10, 15 minutes, that process is broken, right? So what happens then is that you do 10, 15 minutes of that process, and then you actually get to handle and do the job and do the work. And there's a great chance that because of how that process has been designed, there is actually an exception in place or multiple exceptions in place. And, there are, and that's when you enter technology to handle those exceptions, right? So what I keep telling people is don't focus on the technology processes. Uh, I'm sorry, I tell them don't focus on the processes because that's just like 10, 15-minute chunk of work, right? 10, 15-minute, that's it, and then you're done. Focus on what people have to do to handle the exceptions of those processes, which is basically how they interact with other people through technology to achieve a particular task at the end of the day. That's where you can touch base on it. That's why you can make it happen, right? So a little while ago, you know, Stowe, Sto, Stowe Boyd, uh, put together this, this particular blog post on, on GigaPro, I think it was, on GigaPro, where he was mentioning that. He was mentioning how focusing social business on processes is handling the wrong end of the stick. And, and I basically agree with him 100%. Uh, and that's part of the blog post that I'm building on where I would link to his work and everything as well. I'm basically telling, we shouldn't be focusing on processes. Processes... Is, is what you say, is, is limited actions that happen in a time constraint and after that you, you move on, right? The rest is, is what's happening, is how do you get organizations to interact and how do you get employees to interact and collaborate and how they make use of technology to change those behaviors or to adapt those behaviors. And, and the thing though is that it's easier to try to focus on processes because that's some, always something tangible, right? So you can see what the process is, you can see where it begins, you can see where it ends, you can certainly measure it because you have been measuring it forever. So you can apply something that you can touch, right? It's the low-hanging fruit. The other aspect, the behavioral dynamics, the change of uh, the mindset and how organizations operate and what is the actual optimum operating model and everything else, that's the hard one. That's the one that no one wants to go into because no one wants to provoke that particular change. And yet it's the one that is going to help us move forward, right, from that perspective.